doing a normal garden for three years and really limping along. I love what I get out of my garden, but it's just not enough. I want to increase my produce production. So I'm starting a permaculture garden. Hi, I'm Becky. I moved to the country and built the log cabin of my dreams. And now I enjoy the simple life. This is the life of making things, growing a garden, raising animals, connecting with my community, and making a home. This is Becky's Homestead. And this is exactly how you do it from the scratch from the start. So anybody can do it. The plus about permaculture gardening is you can grow a lot of produce in a very small area. I'm sheet mulching. So this is what you need to do in your garden. I'm going to start by laying all this green down where normally I would have been nice and neat and tidy and gotten rid of the weeds and maybe put them in a compost pile. But now as you can see I'm just going to leave them on the ground and I'm going to wet them and put cardboard over there and we'll see the layers as I go. Knocking over this green and instead of putting it in the compost pile it's food for the garden as it decomposes right here and puts nutrients in the soil. That's what I'm doing is trying to build my sandy soil and make it more nutrient rich so I have a better yield of my vegetables and stuff. I'm going to make it thick, thick, thick. And all of this is going to turn into nutrient rich soil right here in the garden. Another thing is, which is a new idea to me completely, weeds are no longer your enemy. Weeds are your friend. And the reason being, which is a very good reason, Re weeds have deep roots and the roots are jackhammers that dig deep in the soil and break it up and just help it thrive and be basically soil is living so you want all those organisms down there the worms and everything else so weeds you can just pull out break in half and put back on the ground to decompose as more nutrients and it's kind of an ongoing cycle to make the, keep the soil rich and nutritious and keep it producing your nice vegetables and fruit. I got a lot of big cardboard boxes and what I'm gonna do is poke holes in them, get all the tape and staples off them, and then I'm gonna layer them thickly oh, in the hissing. garden. He does not like that one bit. Keep going, it's really funny. Let him bite you again. The reason permaculture is appealing to me is you can grow a lot of food in a small space. And I just love that idea. I think there's a lot, a lot of people that want a homestead. They might live in the city or on small acreage. And this is so just encouraging that we can grow a lot of food on a small space. So that's why I'm giving it a try. My book, Becky's Guide to Choosing Your Log Cabin Kit, is now available, and I have been getting great letters from my viewers who have read it, like this one from Tracy and Greg in Tennessee who write, We have been researching log cabin kits and found your videos and website. We want to start our homestead on nine acres Greg got from his parents. I read your book on choosing a log cabin kit, and it really helped me a lot. Thanks, and keep up the good work. If you're thinking about a log cabin kit, my book can really help you too. You can buy it now on Becky'sHomestead.com. In the past, we've had several, several, well, lots of viewers ask how much land do they need to homestead. And a lot of people have a lot of different opinions. We've heard as much as 20 acres, 10 acres, 5 acres. And the reason permaculture is very appealing to me is you can grow a lot of food in a very small area. So I am just so excited to see if that works. The reason I'm poking holes in the cardboard is so the moisture, the worms, and the nutrients can get through and it just helps everything decompose better. I'm spreading the cardboard out so it covers all the area that I'm gonna be gardening because this is the first layer in the sheet mulching. Another thing I love about permaculture is you don't need as much water because the mulch is so thick it holds the moisture in. So that's definitely a plus to be conservative with water. Now I'm gonna apply some organic bone meal. 
And that's just more nutrients for the soil. Too bad. Okay, the next step is the wood chips. Thick, thick, thick. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Happy homesteading. Bye-bye. If you haven't signed up for my free newsletter, you're missing out on extra special features that go with every episode. You can sign up for my free newsletter on Becky'sHomestead.com.